In an Islamic caliphate, when there is Sharia, what's the punishment for apostasy? Execution. Yeah. Execution. But, you get but you're looking good. You're saying. Please, he's bold enough. He's answering. Please answer. Execution. Execution. Yeah. Execution. Is that a good idea? Excuse me, sir. Free, free. So what's your problem? Out, 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 out. Guys, you do not have to be here, right? You don't have to listen to this gentleman. Step back. respect the officer. High Park's a big park. You do not have to be so close. Do what you need to do somewhere else. We don't need you shouting into this gentleman's ear, okay? Scored speaker's corner for a reason. You weren't here, by the way, so don't, don't give any opinion. You weren't here. My apologies. You have to be here shouting. Move on. We're all here. You need to move on as well. We're all here for speaker's corner. You were here last week, and you were problem. The point that I was making very clearly earlier was very simply Islam is not fit for purpose, at least on two counts. Islam is not fit for purpose, at least on two counts here. Okay. Number one, most of you did not choose your religion. Number one, which is so unlike a good society. In a good society, Can you, you should it? be able to choose your religion. Can you number one. And number two. And number two. The more serious problem is that you can never leave your religion where Sharia is in operation. You cannot leave. Doesn't matter. But the facility to leave your religion should be there for it to be a proper choice, not that of indoctrination. And that is my point. At least none of us chose our religion you are to get a visa. People, please stay away. Yeah? Thank you. None of us chose our religion to get a visa. Visa Christian. Visa Christian. Visa Christian. Jesus, on the other hand, 
is marvelous. We didn't want a visa. Christianity, on the other hand, is marvelous. You choose to become a Christian at the time of your choosing. And at the time of your choosing, you can leave the religion if you wanted to. That is what liberty is. That is what freedom is. And that is when we know, when someone becomes a Christian, we know you have become a Christian for proper reasons. Islam does not give you this opportunity. Islam does not therefore belong in our nation. Neither does Islam belong anywhere where people want to make sense. So my dear Muslim friends, leave Islam while you are still in the UK. Leave Islam while you still have the liberty to leave Islam and be protected at least by the rest of the nation, even if not by your own community. Leave. So is that why every Christian is moving to come into Islam? What is that, sir? So you ask a question and roll more away. Intelligent Muslims there again. He wasn't telling you a question. So you said, please tell me, give me four or five good reasons as to why anyone should be a Muslim, sir. Because, because the, the Quran has not been altered. The, first of all, it's the religion of truth. I don't have to. I'm, I'm trying to explain, not yeah. just read. This, this, is this the Quran? This is the Quran? This is, this is, yes. Did this you is, open it? Well, I've read this nonsense multiple times. Nonsense? Okay. Of course it's nonsense. Did you open it? Yeah, it's, uh, listen to me again. What, does what the did cover I say? say? You asked me what that already. What, what did I say? What does the cover say? What the, no, no, don't read, don't read. Go on. Okay, okay. What does the cover say? The cover? Yes. The cover no, says... No, no, don't read it, don't read it. I shook my arm. You did not read it. Hey, look, I'm not a parrot. I'm not a Muslim, you know. I don't memorize like silly Muslims. You no, don't. I don't. You don't even know the title. Yeah. The book. Yeah, this title. You have to read it. This title. Yeah. Who cares about memorizing the title? How does that benefit you? If you actually does that help book, your brain grow by memorizing the title? If you, if you actually read the book, you would so know the title. Okay, okay. See, now you want again. All right. You you again. My dear friends. Back your bags. No one's my friend. No one's your friend. Answer him. Answer him. No one's my friend. Yeah, all the guy. All the guy. You left him. Are you not my friend? You're calling me silly. I'm not a Muslim. You're saying you're saying silly Muslims. And how can I be your friend? How can I be your friend? You have been. You're humiliating me. Please listen. You have been here for 20 minutes or so. Yes, and I'm trying I to ask you, you're running away. I asked you and multiple you questions. So far. One well. question. None of which. One question. None of which you try to answer. And therefore, no, I tried, but you're running that being away. said, you have been here for years yeah. and you never read the book. According to, in an Islamic caliphate, when there is Sharia, what's the punishment for apostasy? Apostasy. What's your? Yani kufr. Yeah. Hey, execution, but you get but you're looking good. You're saying. No, no, wait, wait. No, At least he's bold enough. He's no, answering. No, no, please no, answer. You're asking for one an answer. Execution, yeah. Execution. Is that a good idea? Of course. Wow. 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 If that person were to be killed, this is the Sharia. Yes. Yeah, yeah, you'd be happy. This you'd be happy with that. Can I? Can I? Can no, no, you'd be happy with that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You would be. Yeah, you would be. Okay. So this is the this is the problem. So we can. This only is the problem no we have in our nation, my dear friends, my dear friends, who are sensible people. Even if you are Muslims already, listen to what the young man is saying. What's the punishment for what The young man is saying, if you leave Islam tomorrow, and if there is Sharia law. He would be happy if you are killed. Ah, and he will oh, cheer yeah. on. I would cheer. He will oh, cheer on. Yeah, yeah. And therefore, may I please comment to you that is one good reason as to why Islam is not fit for purpose. Islam needs to leave our nation. We need to kick it out like a plague. 
Like a, like a cancer. Like a cancer, like a plague. We need to chuck it out of our society. By the way, yeah. where, are you, where are you from, sir? Kuwait, even in Kuwait, my dear friend, even in Kuwait, even in Kuwait, Islam has to be kicked out. Islam doesn't belong anywhere. Do you have human beings in Kuwait? Yeah, of course. Good, good. So that's good enough reason to kick out Islam. Wherever there are human beings, Islam doesn't belong. Simply doesn't belong. But, but I have so, uh, so I, I respect Christianity that I don't say that it has to be. I, I understand. In in our no country, one disrespects you know, in our country. You know in our country. My dear friends. No, in our Did country. Guys, in our country, in our country we have Let's churches finish. and we good. respect once, Christianity. One second, one second. No, 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 no. Did you guys know? Did you guys know there is no one of a sensible mind who would disrespect Christianity at all? No one would remotely say I dislike Jesus Christ. Oh, wow. You know why? Why? Because Jesus has quality. Even if you are not a Christian, okay. you simply cannot point out to one bad thing about Jesus. Do you know of one bad thing about Jesus? No, because Islam doesn't teach that. One bad thing about Jesus. No, there is nothing. We Muslims he accept no, no, no. one yeah. bad thing about Jesus. Muslims yeah. accept, accept Jesus. Do you know one bad thing about Jesus? Yeah. All of the prophets. There, there are no. Do you bad know things. one bad thing about Jesus? No. There's yeah. none. There is none. Yeah. But about Muhammad, I can give you a long no. list. A long list. I, I, you know, I, I can keep typing and typing and typing. It's a long it's list. Yeah. You can see at the news. Just yesterday, people motivated by Muhammad. People motivated by Muhammad. Ended up killing multiple people in Germany. Can you read Just yesterday. Yeah. Stabbing. Same day in France. Syrian. I don't know all the details, but again, what come across as terrorist attacks in France too. People motivated by Muhammad are going around killing. Is that a good idea, sir? So why are they doing it? In an Islamic state, would, what would happen to non-Christians, non-Muslims? Oi! Just push yourself. You push him. You push him. Don't push him. I got him from you. Don't push him. Don't push him. I didn't push you. You just came in. Please, please give him his space. Please give him his space. You push him. No, no, you just came. You just came. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. That's fine. Please give him. Please give him. Go with the slime. You just pushed me. No, I didn't. No, you just did. You did. You pushed me. Please give him his space. Please, thank you. Thank you, sir. Now, the gentleman has moved on. My dear friend, you have been you have been testing the limit for a long time. You have been testing the limit. You just need to maintain a little bit of distance, and we'll be fine. Thank you very much. Thank you.